Hey, honey. I'm at the bakery. Do you have a minute? Hey, Gigi. I'm kind of busy, but, um, what's up? Our wedding cake. I don't think it's going to be exactly what we had in mind. What do you mean? I showed them the picture we picked out, but they can't do six layers like we wanted. They say they can only do four. Really? That sounds odd. I know, right? What do you want me to do? Honestly, it's not a big deal. Just do what you think is best. You don't care about the cake? I didn't say that. It's just not a big deal to me. Oh, okay. Is that all? Well, let's chat. How's your day going? Busy. When your parents give us our wedding gift, I need to invest it as best as I can. So I'm spending the day looking into investments. Oh, really? Like, what kind? Real estate. I think it's best to invest their gift into real estate. So that's what you're doing today? Yeah, I'm looking at a few investment condos. Are you doing it alone? Yeah, of course. Why do you ask? I don't know. Sonia has always had a real interest in real estate. Yeah, your twin sister knows a lot about it, actually. How do you know that? Well, you've told me that before. That's all, right? I guess so. I don't remember. You told me your twin, Lily, is the smart one. The one who always showed an interest in the family business while you were more, well, happier to spend money more than make it. I said that? <laughs> yeah, a few months ago. It got me thinking. Thinking about what? Oh, nothing. It just made me realize that I'll have to take control of our finances once we're married. Oh, really? Yes, but I'm kind of busy right now. Right. Looking for investment condos? That is what I said. Oh, because I know Lily would probably love to go with you to see them. You think so? Yeah. Maybe she can even offer advice. She doesn't have her real estate license yet, though. Wait, she's getting her real estate license? I thought you knew. No, she didn't tell me. She told you? She mentioned it in passing. I see. What else did she tell you? What do you mean? Well, I know she went out with you the other day. How did you know about that? My friend saw you two out. Oh, okay. Well, it was going to be a surprise, but we were actually shopping for a gift for you. Oh, really? Yeah. She was helping me pick out a wedding present for you. That's so sweet. Where'd you go? I don't want to spoil it. Come on, you could tell me. <laughs> well, we went to that boutique jewelry store you like. The one downtown. Oh, that's funny. My friend said she saw you two at lunch. Lunch? Yes. Not shopping, but at lunch. I see. Did you two go out to lunch? I guess we did. I don't remember. You don't remember if you had lunch or not last week with my sister? I guess I have a lot on my mind. It's not a big deal. Oh, okay. I wonder why Lily didn't mention it to me, though. Like I said, we were shopping and it was going to be a surprise. Yeah, okay. Hey, we can talk about the honeymoon. I'm kind of busy, like I said. It'll only take a minute. Okay, fine. I'm still leaning towards Fiji. My parents went there for their honeymoon and they loved it. I know, you told me that. That was a long time ago, though. That's true. I thought we agreed on Hawaii. Wait, we did? Didn't we? No. We were deciding between Fiji and Hawaii, but we didn't make a final decision. We didn't, huh? I must be busier than I thought. Well, the funny thing is, I'm looking at your credit card statement. You are? And you went ahead and bought airline tickets to Hawaii. I did? You booked a hotel, too. In Waikiki. So you're saying you don't remember any of that? Huh? I'm sorry. Did I make a mistake? Maybe it's just that we didn't decide. And then you went and planned the whole trip without asking me. Well, our wedding day is just a month away. I guess I figured it was time to book the trip. Really? Without asking me? I suppose so. I have to tell you, I really don't like this. Oh, yeah? Yes. You're forgetting a lot of things lately and making decisions without me about our own wedding. Okay. You need to pay more attention. 
It makes me think you don't care about my opinion. Gigi, I don't want to get into this right now. Get into what? Everything. What's everything? What do you mean? Nothing. Well, make up your mind. Is it nothing or is it everything? Hey, I gotta go. I just arrived at the investment property and the agent is waiting for me. Really? Yes, of course. Text me when you're done. Okay. Promise? Yes, bye. Hey, babe. I'm here. Are you close? On my way. You're early. How is it from the inside? It's a nice building. Hey, I'm getting a strange vibe from your sister. What do you mean? Does she know? She didn't come out and say anything, but she is acting suspicious. I guess someone saw us having lunch last week and told her. Uh-oh. Yeah. Then she went snooping through my credit card statement and saw the honeymoon booked for Hawaii. <laughs> Awkward. Right? What a little snoop. It felt like she was dropping hints. Like maybe she knows something. She can be so annoying. Tell me about it. Sometimes she just really pisses me off. Ha. Huh. Did you tell her anything? Of course not. And you don't think your parents are going to mind? Us getting married. What do you mean? They're not going to be upset with me? Are you worried that they won't give us a big fat wedding present? That's not what I mean. I know, I'm just teasing. I just want to be sure they are okay with it. Like, they won't be upset with me. My parents don't care which one of us gets married first because we're twins. I mean, they care that my husband is in love with me, of course. Of course. I can't wait until we don't have to sneak around anymore. I'm really close to just telling her. All my life, Gigi has always been first. First in school, first in sports, first to get married. Not anymore. That's right. <laughs> oh, darn. It's Gigi. She's calling me. Maybe you should pick up. See what she knows. Okay. I'm still 20 minutes away. Get back to me. I will. Bye. Hey, babe. What's up? This is all really bothering me. It feels like you're planning a wedding that isn't even mine. We need to talk. Can you come over? I told you I'm seeing condos today. Everything is going to be fine. I don't like this. You're being distant. You have some kind of secret you're keeping from me. You're being dramatic. And you're avoiding something. If I am, it's for good reason. What? I don't know who you are right now. See? Dramatic. That's it. You tell me right now. I think it'll be better in person. Now you're really scaring me. Let's have dinner tonight. Sushi? You want to tell me something in a public place so I don't make a scene? It's not like that. Tell me now, just tell me. I know it's bad news. Are you calling off the wedding? Yes and no. Tell me now. Okay, Gigi. You win. Look, you're right. I am. About what? It's not your wedding that I've been planning. What? I'm not marrying you. What do you mean? We wanted to find a better way to tell you. We? Who's we? Me and Lily. What? I'm going to marry your twin, Lily. My sister? It's true. How could you? It feels really good to finally say this to you. But why? Well, I've always loved your looks. You know that. That's not exactly the most romantic thing I've ever heard. And, of course, she looks just like you. No kidding. But there's more. The more I got to know you, the more I started feeling like maybe we weren't perfect for each other. In what way? Lily is really smart, you know? And I'm not. She's very ambitious. And what? I just like sitting around watching TV all day? Lily is studying real estate. She's making a career for herself. I've worked in my family business for years now. 
Gigi, come on. You're basically your father's assistant. No, Andy. My father has been teaching me the family business. I don't just fetch his coffee, you know. Maybe. Maybe? How would you know? You never ask about my work. This is all so sudden. Tell me how it happened. I don't want to. Tell me, you owe me! Was it the weekend I went out of town a few months ago? Actually, yes. I knew it! I knew something changed back then. I ran into her at that Japanese place we like. Our special place? That's where you ran into her? Yeah. Ironic, I guess. Go on. We sat together. We started talking about the wedding. And? And I told her I needed to open up to her that I was having second thoughts about marrying you. And what did she say? It didn't take much. Once I told her I was falling for her instead of you. It all happened very fast. Oh, I see. But by then, I knew what I wanted to do. You mean you knew you were going to dump me and marry her? I knew you and I weren't the best match. You were getting bored of me, you mean? I'm just telling the truth. But she and I are so alike. Physically, but that's about it. So did she just jump into your arms, or what? No, not really. What do you mean? I had to pursue her. At first, she didn't like the idea of us running around on you behind your back. Neither did I. Of course, it felt weird. So you had to try, huh? What did you do? I bought her nice things. I treated her nice. It was exciting, too. Kind of dangerous. Sneaking around behind my back was fun and dangerous? It's strange to say, but this conversation is really helping me. Wow. I'm glad I could ease your mind. Don't be like that. When was the last time you and I had any fun at all? You're too much. It's true, though, isn't it? Relationships aren't always fun in games. It takes work. Well, you and me have been all work and no play for months now. You mean because of all your preparations to spend my family's money? You and I fell into a routine. A really boring routine. I kept taking us out on date nights. Theater, movies, even that escape room. It's deeper than that. You don't even have money to go out half the time. That's a terrible thing to say. You're broke. You're always broke. That's not nice. And it's nice to run around cheating on me with my twin? How could she do this to me? Maybe everyone isn't as nice as you think. It kind of happened by accident. An accident is falling off a bike, not cheating on your fiancé. You didn't trip and fall into my sister's arms, you ass. You really know how to push my buttons. Maybe you should have studied something like real estate. Make something of yourself. Like Lily? Yes. She's interesting. Wow. That's just so awful to say. She can make conversation about something other than what we saw on TV. And what will happen in a few months when you get tired of Lily? That's silly. You got tired of me. He'll get tired of her. I doubt it. Once they cheat, they always repeat. But why do you say that? Because she challenges you mentally? Her and her real estate career? She cares about making money, not just spending it. So the wedding will go on as planned? It's just that you're switching the twin you're marrying? Lily will help me manage your family's businesses much better than you ever could. Wait, so now you think you'll be managing my family's business? Why not? You don't have any brothers. Your father isn't getting any younger. You don't have the experience for running businesses like that. My father has done very well for himself. Of course he has. I plan to make the most of it. I had suspicions about you, but I didn't want to believe it. You never had what it takes to run a business or make money or really accomplish anything. You're a real bastard, you know that? You've been lying to my face for months. Hey, fine. If you're going to get that nasty, we can take off the gloves. I'm not insulting you, Andy. I'm describing you. You're just too arrogant to tell the difference. Fine. Have your fun. Look at it this way. 
I was going to marry you until I was able to switch over to the better model. You came in a solid second place. You don't care who you marry, you just want our family business. I'm looking out for those businesses. Obviously, neither you or Lily can run them correctly. So you're the smart one then. Hey, look at it this way. There are some real predators out there. What's that supposed to mean? You could have fallen prey to a guy who married you, stole your fortune, then left you and your family destitute. So my family should feel unlucky and grateful to you now? I'm not going to kick your parents out of their house. I'm not going to beat your sister. You're just the perfect husband, aren't you? Things could be worse for you and your family. I'm not that bad. You used me to get to my family money, and now you're using my sister. Those are nasty words. I prefer to think I'm your family's savior. You have a real high opinion of yourself, don't you? I see an opportunity and I take it. I see. It was fun with you, though. That much is true. And now you'll have fun with my sister? I will. So what if I tell Lily about this conversation? It doesn't matter. She loves me. Oh, yeah? I'll just tell her you made it all up because you were so jealous. You're ready to lie to your new fiancé the same way you've been lying to me? All's fair in love and war. So what if I show her this text thread? Don't be a silly girl. We both know you have access to my phone. You could easily create both sides of this text thread yourself. You've thought everything through, haven't you? Don't be a sore loser. You and I had a good thing while it lasted. And now you're trading up. Look, I wanted to tell you all this in person. You pushed it. Right? Oh, it's my fault, isn't it? L-O-L. Now you're being petty. Like it's my fault for not being more interesting? You said it, not me. I'm the dumb one who isn't ambitious, who's not clever, who can't keep up with a big brain like you. If you want to put it that way. Remember how you ran into Lily at her special Japanese restaurant? Yes. So what? You go there for happy hour every Friday. Yes, I do. We both know that. It's a bit predictable, isn't it? It's how I end the week. I've been doing it for years. Right. So what? It didn't strike you as strange? What? That Lily would be there on a Friday when I was out of town? What are you saying? Remember when I found out you had a secret savings account? Yes. I told you that wasn't a big deal. I must have just forgot to tell you about it. I know. There's not much money in there. You've never made much money. You can lash out. I understand. You're losing me to your sister. Once I saw the account, things changed. What do you mean? I knew I couldn't trust you. But that was months ago. Exactly. Lily said the same thing. What? She said what? That it was suspicious you kept a hidden bank account. You told her about it? You still don't get it. Get what? Which one of us is the dumb one here? What are you saying? <laughs> okay, that's enough. I know you're jealous, but get over it. I don't think you ever loved me. I think you're right. And you love Lily? Enough. I'm marrying your twin, not you. Accept it. I won, you lost. She's sitting right next to me now. We tricked you. And now she's dumping you. Don't be pathetic. I sent her to our Japanese restaurant that Friday night. No, you didn't. We had the whole thing planned. You're lying. It was all my idea. Sonia was a good sport, though. You're not smart enough to come up with something like that. She told me pretty much you made her sick, so it was hard to go through with it. It's not going to work. I don't believe you. She was the one who said you should go to Hawaii on your fake honeymoon. Yeah. Actually, that's right. I remember now. You couldn't even keep straight which one of us you agreed to go to Hawaii with. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to prove. Me and Lily have been tricking you this whole time. I even told our parents about it. 
No. Lily loves me. She's sitting right next to me. <laughs> no way. Hey, Andy. This is Lily. I'm sitting next to Gigi using her phone. I'm not really 20 minutes away like I said. <laughs> and I guess maybe I won't be the first one between Gigi and me to get married after all. But I guess we'll see. Because obviously neither one of us will ever marry you. You're really pretty gullible and honestly pretty dumb. <laughs> hey, this is Gigi again. Thanks for the entertainment. We had so many good laughs all about this. Oh my god. Seriously, Andy, you honestly think you deserve a good woman and a happy marriage after what you've done? Wait, let me explain. Explain? I don't know what's more ridiculous. The fact that you've cooked up this pathetic scheme, or the audacity you had to think we'd actually believe it. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. Well, considering your track record and lack of intelligence, it's not surprising at all. Just so you are aware, we're spreading the word about your deceit to everyone we know. And let me tell you, when it comes to real estate and business, you're finished. Our parents have connections all over this town, and they won't hesitate to let everyone know what kind of person you really are. What am I going to do now? Move! <laughs> No one in this city will ever trust you again. You're done here, Andy. Consider yourself persona non grata. Goodbye. But, but... Save it, little boy. Lily agrees with me. It's over for you. Goodbye, and don't expect anything from us. <laughs> so listen up. Because this is juicy gossip that spread like wildfire all over town. It turns out that our pal Andy has been keeping a major secret from everyone. Can you believe it? He had actually been hitched and unhitched before. And not a single soul, including Lily and me, had a clue. But guess what? A few weeks down the line, Andy's ex-wife managed to track him down and spilled the beans to warn him and Lily. Can you imagine the shock? But alas, it was too late. The wedding plans were already called off, and the whole community started talking about how dishonest Andy was. I mean, can you blame them? Andy, not one to sit still, packed his bags and hightailed it to a brand spanking new city. And here's the kicker, folks. He didn't exactly mend his ways. Nope. Not our Andy. He found himself another lady, and someone from a respectable family, and they started dating. But hold up. Her old man wasn't fooled by Andy's shenanigans. He saw right through that charmer. And let me tell you, he didn't waste a moment before giving Andy the boot from that city too. So what's the scoop on Andy now, you ask? Well, your guess is as good as mine. Since then, nobody's got a clue about what happened to him. He's become a mystery, a legend, maybe just a cautionary tale. <laughs>